what was your takeaway from your conversation with the president? I mean, is he somebody who do we do you feel like he's the person you spoke to is the person who we see? Yeah, see absolutely. Some, yeah. The most frustrating thing about the experience is I had all this time, like a ninety minute interview and when I transcribed it 75 minutes of that was Trump talking about his poll numbers and I was to be wow. quite honest I was lobbing some softball questions how are you going to change the Republican Party important right. questions but right. not difficult to answer and every answer would segue mid-sentence into, into did you his... see my polls and this right. and that um, it, it was a it was wow. sort of a bizarre experience but the guy you see on TV talking about his poll numbers is exactly the guy that you get in private but right. why do you think since that's the only time that anybody really gets to question him you and every reporter who's gotten in there has basically responded in the same way which is let him hang himself just ask him softballs and let him hang himself instead of Charlie Sykes is the only guy I've ever seen who actually tried to pin him and and, and it was great I don't know if you ever heard his oh interview. yeah absolutely absolutely but why what is it about Trump that that has the effect of kind of convincing reporters I, I don't think it's their demand for access to him in the future but he I, I didn't really have that experience there are two things one I was trying to get him to explain himself so this wasn't like a confrontational Tim right. Russ or you know right. defend your statement on X right. and X date I really wanted him to know now that you've won the Republican nomination how do you plan to change the party and uh, the problem I had, I think, is this, the problem, the same problem that a lot of even even more uh, antagonistic reporters have, which is that the guy can't keep a straight thought in his head. He would start to answer, and you know something, some little right. alarm bell in his mind would go off and remind him of his poll numbers, and he would steer the conversation that way. So this was the furthest thing from a hostile interview, and yet I could, I kept having to try and steer him back to the point without a whole lot of success. 